Welcome back to Let's Cash More Match. My name's Tom. And my name's Mike. So today, we have we Grant. Have the dog that's going crazy. Well, you know, he, he's, he, he's going to get in the film every once in a while. I think he, he skipped that last couple. So <laughs> here we have Grand McNish. I don't know how to properly pronounce it, but this was, again, you, you, you purchased this one. This was one of the ones that was one of my go-to handles. If I couldn't find Inverhouse, this was my second scotch. And this is for approximately how much? You 15 look? bucks. Yep, $14.99. So this was another one of the ones. Uh, this has actually been produced since 1863. So it is one of the oldest blended scotches still on the market today. It was the brand, the brainchild of Robert McNish, who wanted to create a lighter, smoother, his words, whiskey compared to all the harsh whiskeys we'll see that were on the market today. I'm telling you, I if what I remember, and I did spend many a moon since I've drank, these were my go-to ones. It was always Inverhouse, and it was always this one, and I think there was a third. Every once in a while, I would find Clooney, and that one, I want to say, was just over $20. Like, if the, the other ones weren't there. They didn't. I would it. go. But um, these were a couple of my main ones that I would go to when I, would, when I was this, drinking. this, to me, is actually an acquired taste. Scotches. This isn't for everybody. This, you, this it, it, even mixing, this is an acquired taste. But you know what? Now that, now that you're doing it, and I forgot, the, I forgot in the last episode because we were referring it to them. Do you remember, was it Dunville? that I said it reminded me of a scotch. It was an Irish one that we did that had a little bit of a smoke taste and you didn't taste it. Do you remember which one it was? I want to say it was Dunville. It was probably Dunville versus Powers. We might have Powers, to pour, Powers we might have to pour. If we don't do, if we don't compare this to the other one, wow. I, I want to say- It still has that, that, that smell that I can't define, but scotch smell. Oh, let me define it. Medicinal. <laughs> it smells like, it smells like a wet Band-Aid. I don't, you can say what you want, I, I just, but that's what it gotta, refers it's to. It's got to be a better. It's probably a pretty term, but no that's way. what it, when it hits you, better. it smells medicinal. It smells like a doctor's <sighs> office, wet band-aid. Hmm. Not an inside of a cast, so it's not disgusting. It's it's like that, you know the wet band-aid? No, that, I, I, I. Do you not? You, you smell it. There, I know you smell it. Yeah, because I yeah, can't, yeah. but it's got to be a different. I'm sure there's a pretty There's got to be a better yep. flavor that we could come up with, and it's not the wet Band-Aid. But are, are, are you, you pulling the fruit? No. You're not pulling the fruit out of this. No. I, I, and I, I'm, am, am I pulling the You know, I can't almost, almost you know what, though? as JB and what was Bankers? Or what was the last one we did? Inverhouse. Inverhouse, yeah. You, you know what, though? I Honestly, am. with this one, it is soft on the nose, but it, it, we just poured it in. I haven't drank it yet. Like, no, like, no alcohol. It doesn't have as much. Got, it just has that. It doesn't have as much smell. It, it it does, and I that's, don't know what that is. That's the one where is that I the say, barrel? Is that the, is is I don't you know. You know, do you do you like like a blue cheese or a feta cheese that gives you that stinky feet flavor? It almost reminds me. A See, I don't tiny I don't bit of relay that. of. I don't. I, I like feta cheese. I don't relay that as stinky feet. You but can't describe it any other way. Uh, no. I don't, I don't like blue don't, cheese doesn't give you that that no. it has a pungent smell but not okay pungent is stinky feet <laughs> that, that's what i'm thinking of like like it has it's, that unique yeah but it but it's unique. A, it's not this is not a blue cheese smell or not no it's not one of those it's not a cheese smell at all no no but it has that the stink unique that i can't oh, figure yeah. out yes it yeah. does all right let's try it i gotta get it in me first Again, twelve ninety nine. You are not throwing this out. If you're 15. liking a scotch, is this a fifteen one? Fifteen. This is why this is, was one of the ones that no, actually used I, to I, be. I'll be. This one, this one has a little more of a it heat. Almost, yep. And a little more than Inverhouse. It does. It, it's it's not as. I, I, I'm not even. It's not a harsh drinker, but it's it's a. Feels like you're getting a little more you, proof. It, it, yeah, to mix this one, you would you would taste this one way more it, than it almost gives you a tongue tingle on this one. A little, oh, a little oh, when, when front, I just swished it on the back yeah, corners yeah, yeah. of my tongue, okay. it actually almost get again three dollars more. It, 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 it reminds me of when you you just had me do the bankers versus the ten high. 
this this to involves is is to me is ten high to bankers. It gives you a little bit more. So to me, in my house was that it, step in the scotch. This does. one is that minor second foot. You're gonna you're gonna retest it just to make sure the right foot's as good as the left. This to me gives you just a little bit more. Right. Three dollars more, but it, you get a little bit more. I haven't got more on the nose yet. A little more I, of it, a of a heat. Of, so if you were to mix it too, you would know. You would know. See, you I've didn't never get it. mixed a scotch. It. You you say that I've never done that. I, I've always drank them straight. I put it on ice. So when people gave me a scotch, I knew nothing about. You would just. You mix did a it great job. It. I I, tr I tried it. Yeah. I'm like, no, that's awful. It's definitely and, different. And I'd put ginger ale and and drink it like a, a a whiskey and ginger. I just never did that. I mean, I've done it. Like same thing with gin. Like gin to me is like eating a juniper tree. You just go out there, you eat a pine tree, and it's just disgusting. So because I always had the cheap gins. A you few, can have fancy few, gins, yeah, but it, it's it's still an acquired taste. Correct. But you put that with unsweetened grapefruit juice, and that goes right down, man. That was delicious because you couldn't taste it. See, you but <laughs> that's what I used to do. Like heartburn guy. <laughs> that's what I used to do with it. But with scotches, I just never mixed them. I always kept them straight. Now, don't get me wrong. When I drank this on a regular, I used to put it with with ice. But now that I've drank all of these ice, straight, so saying ice. to me, um, it really has I, a I'm... nice, slight smoke flavor. And you do get a little bit medicinal, but it's not like a, oh, that tastes nasty. It's it's a good, it's a flavor where you had a taste. I don't, I don't know if the water will do anything, but on day nine. Um, I'm going to try. I used to, I, again, I, I put it in my Kool-Aid cups. I would sit down and I would sit by the fire and i kick back and I'm good. I'm good for the night. You know what I mean? I would just have these. To me, these were nice. This, this one is, is, to me, again, you said you never mixed them. If I would take I this one, it. and if, if if you're a mixer, then I would take this over Inverhouse, because Inverhouse to me was an easier drinker. To me, I'm there's steps. Inverhouse, small step to this one, a little bit bigger step to the J and B. Yeah. I think it, it it goes up in quality and quantity of flavor that you're getting. I th I think this introduces a little more smoke, a little more of the little flavor. More a little more of the heat, a little yeah. more of the thing. Where, but it's you the gotta, same. It's the same proof, I believe. I believe it, it does, but it drinks a little hotter. It does. It does. Which is that make in house better? Because it's such a nice blend. It's so smooth. You can say I'm saying smooth. Which is this time. weird because it is such an easy drinker for a cheap for a cheap for, scotch. You would think that you, you would think it would be worth. Uh, uh, I always uh, said uh, that I should pay less for a harsher drinker, more for a smoother drinker. That that's what I always thought of. Uh, What's the one you have with Apple? I always forget the name. Comes Crown in a happy Royal. little Crown Royal. To me, it was always a happy little Canadian drink. Just it, went it, right down. It does. It just it's smooth that, as that'll silk. Come up. Well, we have some. But it, 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 yeah, but well, I've never had it. So I, I he's gonna bring it one day, and we're gonna do a review on it. It's open, but it's we're already open it anyways. But with that, to me, that was like such a smooth drink. Where you can go get like some dirt cheap Canadian whiskeys that. Are harsher to drink. So to me, right. you pay more, you get a smoother drinker. Where in a lot of these, you don't. Canadian, we did a Canadian one. We did they the Calvert. They had a, Lord Calvert. Yeah, they had an Canadian. apple. Oh no, it was Canadian oh, whiskey out, apple. But we well, didn't want to. We didn't want to get into all these. Even flavors the Calvin Fever is, is Canadian whiskey, but it, it's a uh, it's the maple one. And no, to me, was, that had that. that no, 80, no, that, that was, was 80, that was, that was actually really good too because yeah. you really got that Canadian flavor, but. With this one, with the scotch, to me, it, it it's just, it was comparable. Mm -hmm. Under $20, handle of whiskey. To me, you couldn't beat it. You really can't. No. And this was my second one. If I couldn't find in the house, I usually, in fair house, I usually look for this one because this was... And you say, what, Clooney? Clooney, it was always, I want to say it was like 22 when I used to buy it back in the day. I couldn't find that one, but... I only said it because you. It was at. I, at, I had brought it to his I'm house. Sure, I'm sure. Point, I think, I'm sure. We it's left at. it there, and it was there for a lot of Christmases because yeah, be. nobody drank it but me. Yeah, my and, problem. Because uh, I wasn't a Scotch guy; I was a rum mm -hmm. guy at the time. Exactly. So it would sit in. In but these were more my. See, to me, this really does though. Hold on, because the more I keep drinking, the more this sat, and it kind of opened up a little bit. In the water. In uh oh, that's right. You put water in it. I I, I got a lot. Well, no, no, not a lot, but I, I almost, I almost got a fruity flavor on that last sip. 
No, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting through it because you, you, you get that smoke aftertaste. I, you get a smoke breath. Mm -hmm. I, I still think it, it, it's just such an, it's not a bad drink. I, sitting by it for campfire, to me, this is this is the way to go. It sure beats that Coca-Cola Starlight we did on Jerky Sauce of Zero, my son's channel. Because he shows me a shout out and I feel guilty all the time. So if you go watch it, Jerky Sauce of Zero, we do food. Maybe that would be a good mixer. When you, you know, it might be, but this would bring you to a campfire. Because you get that nice smoky <laughs> flavor. That Starlight certainly did not. That one did not. But, they, but like this to it me. different. This to me, and maybe because I spent many a night sitting by the fire. More on, than me. On, uh, on whiskey. No, no. I, trust me. Yeah, no, I, or, I drove around on, the country. Or on scotch. I, this was not my go-to ever, really. I, I did this for Rum was a mine. couple years. And then, I, Rum and then when I, again, that's when I settled on 10 I'm like, wow, there is so much more flavor in a, sco in, in a, in a bourbon it's than not, a scotch. This doesn't have a flavor, though. It's a different flavor, though. A it's totally, totally, different. totally not different. Even, no, and that's what I liked about it. Because, like I told you, when if you we went back to drink, back right now, you'd be like, "Whoa!" No, when I used to drink the, and I can't think of it. I could see the guy. It's like a wolf and a guy on a bottle of of, of a Canadian whiskey, and you get it for eleven ninety nine for a bottle. Is it Wolfon? Yeah, we might have it. It was a Canadian whiskey, we and and I remember drinking it, and going, mm, there, "There wasn't a lot to it." With this one, Excuse me. you get that little tail of smoke, and you get that flavor, and you get that... It wasn't so much like the... It's not a bourbon flavor. You're not getting that brown no. sugar candy happy flavor. Nope. You're getting more of a smoke in your face. It you're sitting by the smoke. campfire. Aggressive flavor. But it was a... Might to me, it a was... hint of vanilla. If anything, that, that's all I'd get. Even uh, smell or, or actually, You don't get any of the oatmeal. oatmeal. I was going to say... Might Do you? you? Get, you might get the syrup oatmeal, like more of a syrup than oatmeal, though. I would get more of a maple syrup than an oatmeal, and, and that's yeah, that's reach, but reach that's, it. That's you about, get that's, the you get the you, smoke you with the medicinal. That, the smoke, yes, you, you get do. that smoke all the time. Yep, and then you got to really pull out the rest of it. Yeah, to me, and I don't really, even know what's in this, so that's what I get out of it. It's I mean, a blended whiskey, anyway. So they 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 you know they do a blend of of a bunch of different ones, but. As far as an under twenty dollar handle of whiskey, if you want to try scotch, to me again, introductory foot. Right, it's scotch. Foot into the scotch world. If you're a bourbon, to me, hundred percent different taste. It is. And if you're what thinking you're going to get a bourbon, you're not getting a bourbon. It, it definitely has that whole different vibe. But if you are like a cigar it's, smoking, it's sitting really on the weird. back porch with a nice cool breeze, this this is not a bad guy. Because so we've done the bourbon, we've yep. done a whiskey, we've done like the Tennessee whiskey, the Irish whiskey, and Canadian even whiskey. Canadian whiskey. Yep. And they are so 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 different. And even again, the two of us know jack shit about any of this. It's just but you know, but see, you you can tell. That difference. And the fun part of bringing, when you when you jumped on board, and I was very glad that you did, that was the fun part because as much as I'm a whiskey noob and I certified whiskey noob, you are more of a whiskey noob than me because you haven't ventured right. into these oh, realms, and no. I have. So to the fact that you, knowing nothing, <laughs> can tell the difference. I know you, nothing, you, you and can I can tell, tell the, the difference. difference. That's what I'm saying. It, just, it doesn't just taste, smell in two seconds. For someone, so, and that's why we. I kind of did this channel. My son spurred me into doing it. But for someone who's not like you, you watch some of the whiskey two people, and they're so knowledgeable, and, and it, it almost gets annoying when they start telling me every single thing I'm supposed to smell. Like I'm not getting apricots and band aids. Wait, 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 I'm not getting band aids and stinky feet. No. So what? But, I, if even if it says it on a bottle, we don't even read it. It's it's. I don't think it ever says it on a bottle of what we're supposed to smell or taste. But that's so why the fun... If we smell ass, then that's what we the smell. The fun part of that is, is having you here. Or if we brought your wife here, or if I brought Tammy here, or anyone else, is that you're totally new. <laughs> and tell me what you smell. Because I don't care who you are. If you're new and you go like this, you're not going to tell me apricots and band... You know, you're going to tell me band-aids and stuff. We're, we're hoping we get to that stage of, no, of, of, of I'll, I'll, figuring it out. But right now... It, we may get it. It's it's a different, hits. but you know what? As far as a nice, happy drinker sitting by a campfire, I I don't think you can beat it for. What did you say? Nineteen dollars? I think so. Fourteen seventy nine. <laughs> Hold on, 
Let me verify. I think he'll be right. Fourteen seventy nine. So for fourteen seventy nine for a one point seven five liter, you're not gonna beat it. And that's why I was always drinking Scotch because you weren't gonna, you couldn't get a better value on a table than Inver House, which was that or a Canadian, or a Canadian. It, oh, that Bankers was cheap. I've never seen no. that though. I've never seen it. And again, that was that. For, if you're gonna look for a bourbon, go, go with that Bankers. Cheap bourbon, I, decent I, I, taste. I, it, it, it was, I, I really was. But if, if you want to venture into the Scotch, Scotch realm, Inver House is totally a different one. taste. Hundred percent. Well, different. yeah. So but that's the fun part of it. This like, is, who would have think this is all distilled, like out of the same God, pots? So, where is it? They were all made out of the same pots. Where is that? Inver House. Yeah, we can. Let's see. You want to go with it? Yeah, we'll try. You know what? Don't. Don't I'm go not, crazy. I'm not gonna pour. Go I'm not gonna pour two. I want to do I'm this out. for a second. Nope. Yeah. Put it up. 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 Oh, where was that Irish? Go with J and B. Was oh, it this yeah. one? Yeah, yeah. Was this the smoky one? Yeah. Mm, I'm not sure. I think so. But I, yeah, you're, I don't yeah, you, yeah, you just jumped out the realm, but I did. But this isn't going to be really. This is going to be smell. I want to see if you get or or taste. I want to see if you get the wow. taste of that. I want to see if you get the taste. This of it. is way way smoother than that. I, I'm telling you, they're all. Although, so this. And this horse taste smell. We like just that. poured it though. You gotta give it a sec. Okay. No, I think you're smelling the glass. I don't know what I did with the glasses. How you miswatch a glass? Nope. Nope. They both smell the same. This though. was in the house, right? I don't know. It was. And this was done, Bill. We're gonna drink. You drink out of one side. I'll drink out of the other. I want to see. I washed, hand washed these glasses, and for some reason, it gave me a scent. And I'm gonna use a special. I'm gonna get a different rag. Well, it's it, it, it's or, bugging me. Well, I just use water. Well, no, I used a ton. The whole thing was covered in soap. Maybe no, no. Now you can smell it more. Again. Smell that again. Now you can you you can smell the envelopes now. That, that smells fairly smooth though, right there. It had a tail. Remember, you couldn't smell See, this? the smoke. I'm gonna do this side. This is way smokier. Mm -mm. This is... mm -mm. Don't drink it. Drink on that side. That's yours. It doesn't matter. It's whiskey anyways. <laughs> that gives you that tail of smoke flavor. And I remember that with the Dunville and you couldn't taste it before. But now that you've Look had how clear it is. Though. It is crystal clear. But it gives you that little bit of smoke that I told you an Irish doesn't usually give. You can taste that little bit of smoke in it. it you, yep. You, that you couldn't get before. And now that now that now that you've drank the scotch, you kind of you can it, taste that flavor. So the Irish boys are probably not going to be happy. They pro when you told them Dunville, they they did. Well, the but it's, I still it's easy more. Drinker. It is. It's actually but delicious. I love it. it, it and, and in fact, your wife liked this one. And, the best. and compare, I I told them all, Gavin, 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 <laughs> all three Kevins. You got to try Dunville's. It's really not a bad. It's a, it's it's a, But it had a it has a scotch touch. A little bit. It does. It does. So this is in for house, right? That was very good. I I'm, I'm it's back to it's I, still no, very good. Again, but it brought me Remember when I told you it brought me to scotch and you it couldn't did. get there cuz you never went it to did. scotch. It brings you to but, that scotch side of Irish. I you're not Jameson. Don't taste like this. No. Your normal Irish powers didn't taste like this. It gave you that. Powers scotch, might have been easier. But it, again, it was, it a, was a different a flavor. Sweet, it was not the scotch. It was not that smoke-ridden flavor. This one's actually in the house. Is still good, man. I don't. I, let me go back to. Uh, let me go back to the this one. That's here. In my house. What is that? Yeah, six of one happened to that. To me, they're they're, they're interchangeable. Again, it's going to be a slight difference in uh, viscosity. Yeah, actually, you, you get a little more heat with dumbbells, but it was it was still. It has, it's but it has little that drinker. smoke tail that I never had on an Irish. I actually liked it because of that, because it, it almost brought me back to these days. I remember I told you when, and if it, you go you back did, to the video, that. it reminded me of when I used to drink this, and, and now I'm glad I just did it, because it, it certainly brought me right back to it, because it's not as strong smoke flavor, but it has that in it. It does, well, it definitely is. It does. Where it does. if we poured that Powers, and I'm no. sure we're going long, it was 
it's gonna it's not no that was actually you're, you're right you're very close it, 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 that's that that was the thing so with, with when when it comes to these two so they will hate it because <laughs> it like like it, it's <laughs> different though you know no, what it, is, though, it, it was it to was me better. to me I, i've never been an irish i've never been an irish hater don't get me wrong but to me jameson was always good but if you compare it to like say 10 high that gives you I think bourbon gives you a lot more flavor than the Irish whiskey gives you. Irish whiskey tends to you want to throw it with a coke mm. to give it the sweetness. It's not it's not as flavorful. You can drink it straight, but it's not as flavorful. Where the bourbons to me give me more of the uh, caramel, sugary, happy go lucky drink it straight flavor. <laughs> but in their defense, that's not what they're looking for. A hundred and again. It, it, it is what you're looking for. Right. So if you're not liking it. But to me, $15, Jameson's what? 30 bucks for a handle? Or more? Or more. For a handle? Yeah, for like a 1.7. That's 15 I, bucks for a 1.7 bucks. It's believe. probably 60. That's what I'm saying. So, you know, more bang for you, my you're buck. You're probably getting 30 for a 7 point. Or a 750. 750. So it's more bang for my buck when I used to buy the 10 right, high. Right. And you get the flavor when I'm drinking it straight. Which I never minded Jameson because Grant, Grant, yeah, I say that because of Ryan all the time. But my father would for Christmas, what do you get? Tell him, get him a whiskey because that's what he drinks. So he would buy Jameson, and I go, not for nothing, Dad. But if you're gonna buy it, find a bourbon that's cheaper because they usually have more flavor. And he's like, oh, I buy you a Jameson, it's name brand. I go, I know, but try it. And I had him try it, and he ended up. He only they, knew that for me. Because that's exactly what he said. Because he, when I go with your brother, he gets Jameson and Cokes all the time. So that that's Ginger. what it, that, that, or whatever it was, you know. So, um, as far as these two though, that's what you just drank. This one, pretty interchangeable. A couple bucks here or there, but no, no. this one might have a little bit more flavor, a little bit more. But again, entry level Scotch. I think for the bang for the buck, you can't beat them. I agree. I, uh, I agree. And as far as powers, I, I think it's absolutely delicious. I think it's smoother drinking than both of these. Correct. But I do think it has that tail of scotch in it. So if you're an Irish drinker that might want to venture into the scotch room, powers is your guy. I can tell you this. The Irish will not do that. And I'll be curious. And I want you to leave a comment down below because I know he had mentioned them and you guys were looking for it. So if you do try it, I want you to see if you like it. They may like it. That, it's going to add a tail to, I, to their he, thing. Kevin, let me know. But I, I will be shocked I, if they don't. A true Irishman is not going to jump to a scotch. It's not a, it's not a scotch. That's an Irish drink. Which one? Power? This one is... No, no, no. No, Powers. This, no. Dunville's is 100% Irish. Yes. I, I thought you said you got to... No, no, no. You try to talk no, them into I, these. No, I'm like, talking this one. No, no. This one tastes like a scotch. Correct. Well... It has the scotch tendencies. It does. But it's 100% Irish. It's smooth. So if you're looking to to switch from... If they're drinking Jameson, this is 60 bucks. And this, this was... This, this, is, was this is... I've mentioned it. What? It's $15? $15. But it does have the scotch undertones. It does. Ooh, it has a yes, little bit yes. of the smoke flavor. I'll be interested if they don't like it. Because it's going to add a but little again, twist. And Powers is kind of... Easier drinking yeah. than even the Jameson. No, that that, no, that to me was just a cheaper version of Jameson, and it was good. Way better. Yeah, no, I, yeah, no, no, no. That one if tasted I, more like, like you would need less water. Yeah, that one that. reminded me of just. I think they would. It, it gives you that little tail of smoke. I this one, I think they would like. Powers, I think they would love. Oh, if they like just straight Jameson, that what I remember of Jameson, I think Powers they would love. But um, let us know. Let us know. And Comment, this is why we're comments doing, are good. This is and yeah, no. like dislike. And you can tell us we're totally out of our two street. idiots. That's no, great. yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm a big boy. I can take criticism. <laughs> That's fine. But when it when it comes to entry level scotch, and I, I really do like that Dunville. I, I, I think it, it adds Irish with a tail of scotch. That's what it, it gives me. It, that it, little it smoke probably is if we research. It gives it me that little smoke that. to me where. Where the other ones don't, you know, they 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 usually like so smooth. It's not smooth. a big bark, though. It's not a big bark. Like Jameson not, has a bark. I, mean, I haven't had it so many so many years, but I agree because I remember I I would throw it on ice and I would guzzle it down, but it didn't have a huge flavor. Like they, it wasn't like I see. If again, I'm I wasn't looking money. at that. 
See, and I always did. Like, to I, me, I, I get when a you start drinking the ginger, and I'm out because I'm out to have. Yeah, like, see, when you start drinking five cocktails, and I'm happy. Yeah, and when I started drinking stuff straight, I started thinking, what's giving me my most? Fla I want to taste. Like, I, I if I'm gonna put it on ice cubes, I want to taste. Ice cubes ain't giving me my flavor. You know what I mean? I want, I want a flavor. So, uh, overall, I recommend either one of these. Uh, this wasn't the review. This one is, and it's a couple bucks more if you can't find this one. And it almost might be a step up. This one might be a step up in flavor. A little bit more I, smoke. I, I, a little I, bit I more taste. Um, Not far away. I think it's delicious, though. I, I really do. For scotch or cheap scotch. I'm yeah, going to say very that. Very cheap scotch. For a cheap scotch. I don't think you can beat it. I, I think it's it's a uh, it's a must-buy. So, there you go. There's our second one. You, you grab it. And, uh, and again, I'm glad you did. Because I wanted this as a baseline. So when we do end up doing in the future uh, a, a really good scotch, yep. can we say, <laughs> no, really I want this one. one. You know what I mean? I, and, and you know the sad part is? I'm almost thinking we're not going to we're not gonna be happier. And, and we might not be. We, we Maybe might not be. two gummies, but I, I'm just thinking I've had some higher end scotch. I've had some higher end. There are those people, though, that are scotch guys. And we'll see. They will think this is mud water. You know well, what I mean? But I, I, I'm right, I'm, I'm, we're probably going to get like 10 people We're not smokers either. This though. sucks. We're not smokers either, though. And that, and I think that makes a difference with, smart, with the scotch because it really does bring out the mm. smoky flavor. In, uh, I like it in my food. But I think as an easy drinker, for $15, I don't think you can beat them. I, I really don't. So there you go. There is a long one. Sorry. Grand Magnish. And, uh, well, no, it's a long one, but you know what Subscribe, I think it was? Hit, yeah, like, whatever. I think it was informative because of the fact that I, I really do think if you were... We did sample a couple of things yeah, in comparison. We did, we, so. we, we did compare them, so there you go. I, I say get it. If you're looking to venture into the Scotch world, I think this is this is a good step in. Cheap. Right? You, you, you won't feel bad, like you said, you if you do have to mix this with something actually, else. You, you, uh... Unless you're like the... High end guy, you you could you could sip this. Oh, I'm sure like that the, the more expensive ones are gonna carry a lot more smoke. Yeah, whistling things gonna throw but, this all up. But or will it? That that's the that's the key. I still can't wait to try those. Mm -hmm. I really can't. As much as I'm having, I'm enjoying doing the, the lower end. It'll be interesting when we get to higher end because honestly, this one's a lot more money than the rest of them. But yeah. it does carry a lot more. It was a lot more flavor. I'm not sure if that carries through the Scotch land. Ev yeah, well, or the, land. Or, the, or the Canadian land yeah, yeah, or, yeah. or the Irish yeah. land. It might not. Well, that's why I always said where Jameson to me was good. I didn't think it was $60 good. Like, like to me, it, what I remember, I think Bushmills was a lot less money. And I thought that was just less. as good. And, and, Same and, category. and I, I'm going to tell you, this power is to me. I can't wait to get a small Jameson and put it next to it because I want to say this is just as good and it was uh, a quarter of the money. I'm, I'm thinking powers is smoother. And, and that's what I'm saying. So I'll be interested to see if it carries through all the categories. But there you go. Enough babbling. <laughs> Grand McNish. I would give it a shot. I agree. All right. We'll leave it at that. Spend less. Drink more. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. I'm still thinking bourbon.